We live in pretty homogeneous communities. Our schools are pretty much resegregated now after this desegregated thing. Most kids go to private schools that are pretty much all white or pretty much all their own race. Public schools are pretty much Latino or black in big cities like Los Angeles, Philadelphia, Chicago, Atlanta. And people really don't have an opportunity to mix very much. And if the parents of young people have all friends and relatives and people who come and visit them of the same race, the same color, the same economic background, that's what children are going to think about. And they're not going to understand and walk in the shoes of somebody different than they are. I grew up on a small cotton farm where my community was about half black and half white, and we went in black people's home and sat down and ate. Most white people didn't, but my parents had no problem with that. And, and so I, I had a chance to, to understand black people, and uh, that, was the, that was the other side of the whites and blacks in the South at the time. There were no Latinos, hardly no Jews, hardly nobody any different. And I understand them to learn them as people. On the other hand, uh, most young people don't go into other neighborhoods. And so parents should figure out a way to get their kids involved with people that are not in their own group, their own racial and ethnic group. And that's difficult. It's not easy to do. Uh, there's some barriers on both sides that keep that from happening. So it takes an effort to do that. You have to go into a girls or boys club in a part of town that you may not be familiar with. And they can make a friend here, go to a camp somewhere that's not some very expensive camp that we only the rich kids go to. They go to a different kind of camp, maybe a YMCA camp that only costs $200 for a whole week. Meet somebody different, make a friend. Uh, these, are, these are very difficult things to do because, you know, we live in a really segregated society. Uh, it's not many people that really mix beyond racial and ethnic and religious bounds in the United States. And today when we have so much tension in this country, uh, we call uh, Islamic terrorists, for example. Well, all these Islamic people aren't terrorists. That's like saying Baptist terrorists because Timothy McVeigh was a Baptist and blew up a building. But, but these stereotypes that we use, and how many people, young people, have been to a mosque? You don't know what a mosque is. It, you know, it's, a, it's where the terrorists all hang out. No, it's not where the terrorists all hang out. They're where good people practice in their religion and their faith go. So it, it's hard work for a parent. It's easy to just live your life and do the very things you do all the time, things you did growing up, and your kids are going to end up doing that too, unless they're extremely unusual kids and break out on their own. So it's a real challenge to be a parent to raise an empathetic kid who's not biased.